terrific lightweight action. Oscar, we love you. There's a look at Oscar De La Hoya fighting in the lightweight class. Bob Papa along with Wally Matthews and a lot of American fans on hand. Carl Malone of the Dream Team is here. He has read a lot of information on De La Hoya and says he couldn't wait to see him fight. Well, speaking of dreams, this is a young man who's been dreaming about this moment for a long time, Bob. If not the weight of the world on this young man's shoulders, at least the weight of his entire family and a lot of people in the United States. 19 years of age, 5 foot 11. His father sitting right over the sea in the Luxon in the flowered shirt. And it's Joel De La Hoya, former professional boxer himself, right in the middle of your screen. And the rest of those people there are all family and friends of Oscar De La Hoya, all of whom... I won't say have put pressure on him, but expect a lot from this 19-year-old. Adelson Silva of Brazil. The opponent in the red corner, Rizad Rito of Poland, is our referee. Of course, De La Hoya's mom, Cecilia, passed away in 1990 of cancer. There's a look at Joel, his father. And Oscar vowed to bring the gold medal and win it for his mother. And for De La Hoya, the toughest part, the fact that he had to fight on the last day of this first round with all the pressure on him. You know, some of that pressure has translated itself into the way De La Hoya fights, Bob. We noticed it in the Olympic trials in Worcester, Massachusetts. And also, with the exception of the final day of the box offs in Phoenix, a lot of times De La Hoya has looked like a fighter. Goes Silva, wow. a left hand, puts him down. That was a heck of a left uppercut. I was going to say, he looks like a fighter who does not want to make a mistake and is afraid to take chances. Tonight, he came out ready to fight. Look at the look on his face. And that has to relieve the butterflies. De La Hoya looking for the early stoppage. That's as hard a punch as I have seen Oscar De La Hoya land in several years. And you see the smile. This is a fighter who's fired up. You see the referee had to tell him to listen to the commands because right now he's got nothing on his mind but finishing this one off. Good left hand by De La Hoya. Still a minute 45 remaining in round one. And Silva caution to keep the head up. You see De La Hoya very anxious. Well, this is his moment, Bob. This is what he's been waiting for. This is what he promised his mother that he would do before she passed away. He would come home with a gold medal from Barcelona. And there's just no tomorrow. He's got to win every fight. Can't take any chances here. And at the family compound in East Los Angeles, they are getting a look at Oscar on McDonald Avenue. Some 30, 40 relatives gathered around the television to watch him in action. And even in this first round, Bob, this is a different Oscar De La Hoya than we saw in the trials. That Oscar De La Hoya was cautious. He was throwing arm punches. He almost was afraid to let his talent go. It looks like there's nothing holding him back here tonight. And Silva staggered back. The headgear twisted. And De La Hoya looks sharp, scoring with a left and right hand blood all over the face of Silva here in round one. He's also got a mouse under that left eye already. Oscar De La Hoya has been a phenom in boxing since he was just a child, Bob. At 14 years old, he knocked down Paul Gonzalez, who at that point had been an Olympic gold medal winner and was a professional boxer. Silva has taken some punishment here in round one. And De La Hoya landing with another left hand. De La Hoya's left hand has been brutal the entire round. And the De La Hoya clan begins the USA chant. And a blistering round one for Oscar De La Hoya. <laughs> Look at the, the point total though. Nine to two for De La Hoya. 
seemed like he landed a lot more clean punches than that. A cut on the side of Silva's face, along the nose. Here is the knockdown. We're going to see that left uppercut right under the chin. Sets it up with a jab, another jab, and then a left hand right underneath. Boom. Joe Bird saying, relax. Now, this was just De La Hoya knocked back, but really dictated the pace of this round. Oscar De La Hoya, the 1990 Goodwill's Games champion. His mom kept the fact that she was ailing from cancer from her son. She skipped her treatment to go to the Goodwill Games. She used to sit in the top row in the, in the bad seats to watch him fight. And after each victory, he would point toward the sky. And after each win now, he still goes to one knee and points to the rafters. De La Hoya hopes to do that all the way to a gold medal. Now, certainly a dramatic story that of Oscar De La Hoya. And I am pleasantly surprised by the way he's handling the pressure of his first Olympic bout here. I thought he might be tight. Joe Bird kind of thinks that he is tight. But I'll tell you, he's fighting a lot better than he did uh, the last two times we saw him. Good right hand by Silva. And Rosa Silva of Brazil landing some good shots of his own. And look, there's a bad cut under the left eye of De La Hoya. What a bad break that is. And he's pawing at the cut. Wow. So both fighters a little bit nicked up here in round two, just a minute and two seconds into the second round. Will this change the style of De La Hoya? Of necessity, it will, Bob. And don't forget, the Olympics is an endurance contest. You must fight again and again to win that gold medal. And De La Hoya trying to put some pressure on. Big scores with a left to the bottom and to the head, Oscar De La Hoya. He's fighting right now like a fighter who knows he's got to get this fight over with in a hurry before that cut gets any worse. There's a lot of blood running down the cheek of Oscar De La Hoya right now. But the cut is below the eye as opposed to on the eyebrow where blood would go into the eye, so it's not as dangerous a spot. Yeah, but I think you're overlooking the fact that the problem is not in this fight getting stopped, but in Oscar De La Hoya continuing in these Olympic Games, Bob. I don't think he's in any danger of being stopped by that cut in this fight, but that could be a problem down the line. Look at De La Hoya digging. And a grabbing caution to Silva and referee Rito. Well, we've seen a proliferation of cuts in this first round of Olympic boxing competition, Bob. I hope we got that on replay, but it may very well have been that one sharp right that Silva landed early in the round. Silva now fighting like a man who thinks he has a chance to win the fight. He certainly has gained a slight advantage, at least psychologically, although on points I would guess he's still well behind. Quite a buzz at the Juventud Pavilion for Oscar De La Hoya. A blistering first round knockdown of Rosa Silva. But Silva here in the second round has regained his legs and has opened a cut on De La Hoya's face. Why, right, that's just indicative of the shifting fortunes in boxing. You can be on top in one second, in a split second. Now you've got a cut and you've got all kinds of things to worry about. And that is the end of round number two. De La Hoya in front, 15 to 3 at the end of two rounds. Well, if that's an accurate score, Bob, that means the only punch that he got credit for is the one that cut De La Hoya. And here is 
the action from round two. There was a right hand by Silva. And in Spanish, they were telling De La Hoya, box, box, box. You don't need to slug. As you can see, it's not a tremendously big cut, Bob, but the blood was really coming out of that in round two. And we begin round number three. Oscar De La Hoya comfortably in front, 15 to three. And let's see if he follows the corner advice. Box, box, box. Watch out for that right hand. Well, Silva is a rough customer, and you don't want to get into too many exchanges on the inside with him. Especially because he'll use his head as a weapon. We've seen that. Yeah, if you're an Oscar De La Hoya and you can control a fight with your jab and you can get out of trouble, there's no sense in going for the knockout right now. You know, that's a slip to the canvas by Silva. We've seen it in, with some of the Cuban fighters here. They have not taken any chances in their first-round bouts. They have boxed to win. They have piled up points, but they're not in there to get hurt. They know that this is going to be a long haul to win an Olympic gold medal. And now they will wipe some of the blood away from the cut of De La Hoya with 2.17 remaining in the third round. Really not that bad, but the swelling, Wally. Well, that's going to be a continuing problem because that eye will swell up worse overnight than it does now. Well, if I were De La Hoya, I would get no closer than the length of my left jab to Silva right now. Well, he was told to box and watch the right hand. That's where knowing that you're ahead by a 15 to three score would come in handy. De La Hoya put Silva down early in round one with a punctuating left and Silva rocked back again. And that was a honey of an uppercut that he knocked Silva down with. for De La Hoya to be getting his head on the inside there. That's just the fighter's instinct, though. He's got his opponent where he wants him, and he just can't hold himself back. But it's not really the wisest thing to do right now. If Oscar clears this hurdle, he's scheduled to fight again on Sunday. Right now, he's comfortably in front on points. Less than a minute to go in this third and final round. I believe he fights on Saturday, Bob. And if that's the case, he's really only got one day to rest. Saturday, yeah, correct, Saturday, my mistake. I mean, there's not even time to put a stitch or two into that cut and hope that it'll heal. And another pulling caution for Silva. Trying to pull De La Hoya inside. Well, Silva knows that at long range, he has no chance with De La Hoya. De La Hoya's hands are too quick, too sharp. Good combination by De La Hoya. And that digging left hook to the body has been De La Hoya's trademark. And now there's blood streaming down the face of Adelson Silva. A standing eight count. And that is it. The fight is stopped with seven seconds remaining. Oscar De La Hoya takes his first step to an Olympic gold. Joel De La Hoya up in the stands. And boy, I tell you, he's had some anxious moments watching this one tonight. There you see the injury under the left eye of Oscar De La Hoya. Don't know how bad that will become between now and his next fight on Saturday, Bob. But that certainly caused a few pulses to race uh, in his corner tonight. A lot of relief for Joel De La Hoya. Fighting in the blood. Oscar, a third generation wow. fighter. And look at the face. 
of Silva. And all of that damage, most of it, I believe, happened in that final furious flurry by De La Hoya. A big sigh of relief for Oscar De La Hoya and his friends and family in East Los Angeles. And here's a look at that last barrage by De La Hoya. The left hand, which he started the fight out with effectively, ends it. He scored the knockdown in round one with the left. You see the combination to start it in the third and final round. That left hand out, and then he works to the body and digs the hands up inside with the uppercut to the head. And the United States is now 8-1 in the 1992 Olympics. The work of Oscar De La Hoya on Silva. As the fighters...